this video we will make get more background map options because currently we don't just have this one background that represents the inner part of the city of Bern but this is a raster layer that I saved and it doesn't cover all our data so there are different options to get background maps um, you can either download a background map that fits your needs um, from the internet or from other sources and add it as raster layer like I did that with this background map here but there is also there are also plugins available that helps you with um, getting a background map as long as you're connected to the internet we will use one of these plugins and this one is called um, quick map service you can install plugins by selecting here plugins and manage and install plugins i will not do that now i will just work with this quick map service that we already installed and select here so if you go through this list you can see that here's a huge variety of different possibilities usually you want your background map especially for scientific maps to be a bit decent and not um, overshadowing your um, the information that you would like to transmit um, so you rather would use a background map that's neutral probably grayscale and not so much in the foreground and also a background map that fits um, the kind of information that you would like to um, transmit for example if you would like to uh, show archaeological situations you would probably rather have a background map that doesn't show so much modern features like streets and um, that is probably also not so in the foreground with different country divisions so that you have rather plain background one of the options here is for example Starman the Starman um, map provider and you can use the Starman terrain background and if I select that and remove the background um, raster that we have now you can see you don't see so much of the man-made features here um, so man-made features are colored kind of gray here but they're much less in the foreground and if I zoom out um, they kind of become more or less invisible and you see only the natural background here that would be an option for archaeological mapping for scientific mapping also the benefit of using these kind of um, background map is that you can have different scales available immediately so if I put in my background map here you can see especially since it's rather small um, you can see that here are very much many details already visible in this um, in this rather huge scale and if I zoom into a much smaller scale uh, it becomes very pixelated and I don't see additional um, informations that might be useful in this kind of scale here so that's another benefit of using um, uh, this this kind of online services downside is if you go very small scale probably there is not a layer for this very small scale in this background map so you will see just a blank screen here since we're currently mapping um, man-made features with the places where you can go and burn um, a background map that m is more representing modern features might be more helpful so in this case I select another one and another good option for such situations is this CarboDB Positron there's also dark matter that's kind of a um, yeah, dark mood um, version of this Positron but this Positron map here is a light one so this fits for example printed maps better than um, a dark one would so now I still have my terrain background here in the foreground I remove that and now I can see that here I have now a background map that represents different um, 
houses and streets and it also has some labels for the streets and if I move in I can see more labels are popping up which would not be the case if you would have a saved um, background map. So here according to the scale the level of details are determined um, accordingly. Okay um, so with this plugin the quick map service plugin you can get a lot of variety of different background maps and I would ask you to play around and find something that fits your needs um, in the next video we will see how we can transform now our background map and the information to a map that we can include in for example publications